Hello, today's art lesson is called a mandala. A mandala is a design in a circular shape. It comes to us from the country of India. It is rooted in the Hindu and Buddhist religious orders. It is a very cool design and something we're going to try and replicate today. So basically we need a circle and you can use a tabletop, you can use a paper plate, you can draw a circle on a piece of paper and that will be our starting point. And then we need items that we're going to place around it because in a mandala, as in most circular designs, what you put on top matches the bottom and then the left and the right sides also. So it is perfectly symmetrical, meaning what's up here is repeated down here and on the sides also. So you're going to need numerous um, quantity of different things like little food items, crackers, noodles. If you don't, mom needs the food items, well, if you have some little shapes or Legos, or if you have coins like pennies, anything that you have multiple of the same thing that we can put on here, remember it must go not only on the top, but the bottom, the left and the right. Now I'd like to show you a few examples of some that have already been done by other students. Now this one obviously was done on a tabletop or a floor because they use silverware and water bottles. And those look like either lemons or oranges, probably oranges in the middle with an apple in the very middle. So that one's quite, quite large, but again, what's on top is the same on bottom, what's on left is the same over here. Notice spoon, 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 spoon. All right, here's another one. It's made all entirely out of food. Do you see the corn, the noodles, the little noodles, looks like rice maybe? in here. Notice how it seems to be radiating outward in that circular design. Now this one is extremely elaborate with food. We've got Cheerios. We've got those little dipping breadsticks. We've got Ritz crackers, I think. All kinds of goodies in here. But again, what's on top is on bottom, what's on the left is on the right, and it's all inside a circular design. I have one more that's a little bit simpler. It's made with just things we can find around the house, like little goldfish. Looks like jelly beans and dimes. Again, a circular pattern, top matches bottom, left matches right. Notice even the colors match to make this truly a mandala. So this is our objective today, is to make your own version. I'm going to start with my paper plate. And I've already stuck, I, of course I'm the art teacher, so I've got a lot of art supplies here. Um, I've got one of those peel and stick foam shapes to start my center with. And what I'm going to put around it is some crackers and bear with me because I'm going to be moving my laptop so you can see what I've done. So, so far, this is what I've done. I 
Then I think I'm going to add, oh, I'm sneaking in some M&Ms. But I have to be careful because M&Ms come in a whole bunch of different colors. So I think, because I seem to have a handful of green ones, I'm going to just stick with the lighter green and have these pointing outward also. Now, uh, right now, I'm not taking the time to glue them down. If I wanted to keep this as a permanent display, I probably wouldn't use food because after a while, food kind of gets yucky. Oops. Oh, dropped one, get to eat it. It's a good thing about working with food. Now, if you look and see what I've done, I've taken and put eight M&Ms ready out in between my crackers. Now, I think what I'm going to do is take some of these pennies and put them in between my M&Ms and the crackers. Let's see if I've got enough pretty ones. Some of these are a little yucky looking. One more, I gotta find one more. Oh. Okay, now I have added my pennies all around in the same spot so the top matches the bottom, left matches right. Okay, I also have some little tiny noodles. I think I'll just take and go around the entire outside of this to kind of round it off and finish it off. Now remember, our whole objective here is to make a symmetrical design in a circle. So make sure that your colors and shapes repeat themselves from top to bottom, left to right, and you will have made your own version of a mandala. All right, now I finished with my little twisted noodles and did an outside ring. So that's today's lesson. If you really wanted to keep it, you could glue it down. Actually, I think I'll have some of these for lunch. So I hope you have a great day. Know that I miss you and wish we were together in person. So much better. But this is the best we can do, so I just wanted to say hello. Have fun making things. You can take it apart, remake it in a different design, add more things, take away things. And then again, these are called mandalas. Have a great day.